Okay, here we go. 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 One more <laughs> right. time. Everybody's feeling fine. Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Here we go. Instinct has got the flow. What's up, y'all? Oh. To the beat. We got everything you need. Here we go now. You can go. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the No <laughs> Podcast. I'm Tim Chantharongsu. I'm Ricky Shucks. I'm Nikki Blades. You know what? What? I always knew that song, mm. but I didn't know why I knew that song because Disney Channel. I didn't. I wasn't watching the Disney Channel like that back then, what? and it's like I wow. I didn't buy the NSYNC albums. I only listened to the singles. Mm-hmm. I have the greatest hits, mm-hmm. um, which is you know that song is on there. I think right, probably. But I never knew why. I just knew that song. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. I, I knew it because of Disney Channel. I see. They, I, they had like a whole concert that I, would play all the time. And I had to watch it all the time because the girl uh, I had a crush on loved them niggas. So I needed to know all the songs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have no idea why I know that song. I don't know. Oh, I just remembered why I know that song. <laughs> I say I don't know. Now you know. Okay. Do y'all remember Say What Karaoke on MTV? Say What yes. Karaoke. It sounds okay. familiar. It, it, the one where they would... Sp- Spin the wheel? It was a karaoke competition to see who could get the words right. right. And then you could spin the wheel at the end if you if you advance to the yes, next level. Okay. And there was one dude who would always, he like was like one of their champions. And he would always do Backstreet Boys songs and sing songs. And then that, and then one time they introduced him and he came out singing that song. Um, but I think he was, uh, whoever was hosting it, let's say it was like Carson Daly or something. He was like, yes, 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 here we go. Carson has got the flow. <laughs> but and he was that, like, oh, I'm going to be a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, th- I don't think he ever said that to himself. MTV Spring Break was the shit. Yes, I jacked off to it. Oh my, what? That is not where I thought yes. we were going to go Spring Breakers that. as well. <laughs> Okay. Oh, the movie. Yes. Oh my god. Okay, so <laughs> to bring it back around, Disney. Yeah. There we go. Uh, so elaborate a little bit more on your. Song. Oh, okay. So sorry to interrupt, but as soon as you said it, I immediately thought of. I'm I'm, I'm glad that's the first thing you thought they of. They had a spring break special where they followed around this group of party goers. Okay, it was a group of girls and a group of guys, and they <laughs> they entered this whipped cream bikini contest mm-hmm. and speedo contest. Uh huh. And they, he remembers. Let's, let's bring him in. Let's bring him in. Today, today we got a special guest. I mean, you might have seen him um, in some of your favorite movies. Uh-huh. You might have seen him on All Deaf. Uh-huh. You might just seen him on um, uh, uh, PrettyLightSkinBoys.com. <laughs> <laughs> Make some noise for Cleo Thomas. <laughs> oh my God. He said, "You just made up a whole website. Does that no, exist? Does we gonna, not. Are you I'm sure? I wouldn't be on it. I <laughs> promise you. We about to look that up. I'm not the standard. I'm the only dog. I'll be on. No. <laughs> Rick knows. He subscribed to that account. All right. Well, uh, well before I, I continue, what's good, bro? How are you? I'm amazing. How about yourself, brother? We're good. Yeah. Man. We're good. 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 Nikki. Good. Oh, yeah. We're good. Oh, good. That's good. I'm glad, I'm glad yeah. you could pull up. Absolutely, man. We've been talking about this for quite some time, so I'm like, yo, I'm in. Yeah. As the time comes, let's get to work. So yeah, definitely. You know, I always kind of. See you in passing at different events and random shoots and yeah, a bunch of bullshit. I remember the first time we met was actually at a uh, it was like a gifting suite, and it was like immediate like just respect. It was like, what's up, bro? I was like, <laughs> it was yeah, I like him. It was, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was dope, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, gifting suites, man. which I don't think is ever gonna happen again. Man. I think no. it's a wrap for that. Yeah, COVID didn't kill that off. So. And it was never good shit. It was like, but okay, Tim. <laughs> You got to think of what was happening. Now. These are companies and people from around the world who are flying into L.A. because somebody told them, hey, celebrities are going to be there. You can give away your products. And they paid ten to $20,000 to come there and give you the product. So they were investing in themselves thinking they was going to get. Mm, yeah. I, put the game I mean, there, that man. was influencers before they were influencers. It was influencers. Genuine. Genuine. Yeah. Y'all were the influencers. I, I got invited to a gift and suite once. I'm pretty sure you was with me mm-hmm. where they had dope shit. But they were selling it. I was like, how is oh. this gifting? You, what? It's a That's buying the opposite. You gifted yeah. me the opportunity to buy to this look shit? At like, and, see, and take it if you want. What special discount today? Oh, like, God. All right, get out of my face. 
So spring break. Yeah, MTV yeah. spring you, break. You, you yeah. remember. Okay, I remember. So they were doing this whipped cream bikini contest, and the, the whipped cream was like super melty. Yeah. So it was these naked... Oh, and they were showing this. Well, it was it was a very blur. It oh, was a blur. E- the essence it like, it of a nipple was, right was there. Yeah. It was right okay. there. like Japanese porn. It was a oh, blur there. Got it. But you knew what was going on. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> all you needed. Back and then. It was yeah. girls right. twerking, wet t-shirt contests, yeah. and busting it open, but just a little blur. And let me tell you, for a little, however old I was, 12, 13 year old watching this, twenty two, <laughs> um, before. Porn was as accessible as it is now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It that was like true. this is this is all I have. Girls Gone Wild infomercials. Oh wow! Um, um BET Uncut mm-hmm. and oh. MTV Spring Break. God, my dad did not let me. Anytime he heard the music being played after a certain time, he would like turn that shit off. So why you know what it is, Dad? <laughs> like I'm watching <laughs> the same Facts. shit as you. Go to bed, damn it. Facts. <laughs> Nelly caught a lot, like a long standing beef just because of BET Uncut. You, I think he got about beef. No, I'm just as far as the credit card thing, like that's stuck for generations. Yeah. Like, oh, you mean his beef? Yeah, like the, the world specifically. Oh, <laughs> the world specifically was on uh, Nelly's head for that. And I'm just like, man, tip was it was tip drill? Yeah, yeah. But it must it be your well, ass because it ain't your well, face. I need a tip, tip drill. drill. I need a classic. Hey, hey, that's the only reason why I know how to dance. I, a lot of Whoa. people didn't even know about BET Uncut until that video came that's out. True. And then niggas at school like, yo, yo, watch BET Uncut? And, What's that? <laughs> and now that's every music video that's out looks exactly the same. I mean, Tip Drill was definitely, I mean, I I, I don't want to say it was the game changer, but it was like the most known one that came out, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then it was Ludacris Pussy Popping, which was yeah. great. Mm-hmm. I don't know which came first. Yeah. Um, I know I came. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> to- toss it up. <laughs> There was a there was a R rated version of Toss It Up Tupac. Oh, word! Yeah, <laughs> is it Google it. I'm, we pre- got, we I'm pretty got, sure our Wi Fi isn't up. very yeah. good in here. Oh. It's gonna be loading for a while. Yeah, that that was the OG one, but not a lot of people knew about that. There was huh. if you bought the um, I used to buy singles all the time, mm-hmm. not uh like the uh, the CD singles, right? Mm-hmm. And if you bought Chingy right there single, mm-hmm. the flip side was an uncensored DVD. What? And that shit was great. <laughs> uh, nice. Yes, lots of butts uh, and stuff. Dirty ones. Dirty, dirty <laughs> booty. Yeah. Booty. Dirty. Home booty. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> speaking of speaking of porn and the scantily clad ladies, Holes is a movie. Wow. You were- <laughs> Yo, what a dirty wow, what a transition. <laughs> what a transition. This is what he does for a living, can't you tell? Damn. Speaking Get of back anywhere near n- dirty butt. Wow, Sam. <laughs> wow, bro. <laughs> Hey wow. man, Disney just deleted your number. That's it. I was, that's it. He didn't ruin it for me forever. As that's soon it. as as soon as we started talking like about goofy movie, no more. <laughs> no more. That remake, that's a wrap. You're not in it. Done no deal. More. Bro. As soon as I realized I could make that transition, I was like, yeah. <laughs> so funny. well plotted, Tim. Well plotted, bro. Well, shit, man. Um, I feel like you know, a lot of people know you from the movie Holes, Absolutely. right? And I, let me ask you this, bro. First of all, how old were you when you did that movie? Uh, thirteen. Okay, so thirteen. Summer of seventh grade. Do you feel? Like, uh, like, how do you? How did you avoid the curse of the young Disney star Man. and not become a drugged out person with scandals all over the internet? <laughs> yeah, family. Being very honest, I had a very solid foundation. Like, I'm the oldest of my siblings. My parents have been together since high school. So, off top, you know, my dad was in the military. So I had fear instilled in me from him from mm. jump. I'm like, this- I'm not playing this shit right. out here with y'all. Um, it, it was that man, and then also. I didn't come up out of the Disney ranks in a per se. Mm. You know, there wasn't like a TV show that I was on and then got to that and then blew. Mm. No, it was, I came out of left field. Mm -hmm. I went from Friday after next to that. Mm-hmm. So that was it, my only question I had for you. Which was, was, like, was that you in Friday After Next? Like, yeah, like, brother, okay, yeah, man. Cool. <laughs> Friday After Next for sure, man. So that's that's what, I love the fact that I have that on the resume. So that's how I avoided it. Tim was just being able to like have a very solid foundation, and I saw where everyone else had messed up. Mm. But I got to be quite honest. I think I was slighted in a sense by the business and by the industry because there wasn't any bad press tied to my name. Now that I'm older, I can look and see. That's a part of the game. Oh, you think so? Because so because I was nowhere inside of some, I can curse here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuckery. Mm-hmm. There was, oh, well, what has he been? The, the resume been stacked. Mm-hmm. It's been continuously right. going and going, but there was nothing tied to the BS name as far as him coming from this mm-hmm. and to the people he was with. So how did it not clash? So you think a lot of this um, negative publi- publicity 
has like been like on purpose planned out by some of these people? I won't say that it's all planned, but right. there are definitely things I think that you do to rebrand yourself. The good girl goes bad. Right. The, the 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 guy who was at the top has a fall off. Now everyone loves a comeback story, True. and we see him in it. Like I think that it, those are details that we've seen through media and through uh, the history of being entertainers that just fits. I feel like that point we've been talking about social media a lot mm -hmm. and how people are struggling with it, and I don't think. A lot of individuals realize that celebrities, there's somebody mapping out their career mm -hmm. and a lot of their successes and their fails. So when regular people are trying to pursue this and they get into a fail or in a rut, they're like really down on themselves, not realizing that there's other people that have decided that a fail was going to be good for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you know, they say there's no such thing as bad, bad publicity. publicity. Nope, it's 2021. You can get canceled yeah. and not work for a while. Yeah, I, you got to have good yep. publicity first. Though. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you can't just start off fucking up. Right. right. <laughs> yeah, it can't come out the gate swinging. Yeah, bro. the game is different. You ever think about leaking some news or something? Nah. <laughs> you know what's funny, though? I'm, I'm afraid it's going to come back and bite me in the ass. There was one day uh, I had posted to Twitter I think it was like hashtag eggplant something, right? Okay. Oh, and I, you thought I, it was the game? Uh, okay, so it might have. I think he might have started that BS. Now I think about it. <laughs> I took a picture, but I put the shrimp emoji instead. Okay. <laughs> and I was just in the mirror, and then the picture was up maybe I don't know 14 seconds. And as I'm looking at it, and like I'm like, this probably ain't the best look, so I deleted it. So I don't know if it's 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 the internet. It's somewhere somebody's here. about Someone's to find it now it. since Damn you decided it. to bring that, up your no, shrimp. Let me tell you what's annoying. So Blaze was just talking earlier about how I've been posting my ass a lot on Instagram, it's right? Naked all you the time. You actually have. No, sir. I, I, I think do. about it. It's a lot of cheeks on your. Well, on your well here's the thing. Uh, because back then, be, before you could post the um carousel, Swipe. yeah, swipes. You know, um, I I've posted a, just. I always have my ass out in in when I travel. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's in front of a beach or in front of a, a window or the hotel or whatever. So I just happen to post a little a swipe of all of them over the past however many years, right? But here's what's annoying is, so y'all don't watch me for a long time. You guys know I go to the right. My my, my I curve to the right, right? <laughs> so it's like when you got a picture of my ass from behind me, my my penis is going to the right. But the thing about it is what I learned from past pictures is like these motherfuckers don't know that they don't see nothing hanging from the back and they want to talk shit. So now I always got to put an emoji on my ass too a little bit because they'd be like, oh, he ain't got nothing. He got no hang time. But like my shit's <laughs> hanging to the right, bro. So you got to pretend like you censoring a dick. Yes. Because, That's hilarious. Because my shit's going to the right just to avoid annoying comments. That's <laughs> so funny. So anybody that sees this episode, please go on to Tim's page yeah. and say. What, yeah, what are your, are your uh, legs spread or something? Yeah, you know, I'll be like you this. You squat down oh, a little okay. bit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just be funny. squatting now and he's leaning. It's all trying to get it to move. But I'm like, guys, y'all, you know this. Come on, bro. The air blow, try yeah. to heat it up. Just right? a little bit more. Oh, my God. It's all, Chia, come over here. You know they keep asking yeah, me about this shit. Wait, I gotta make it go tell them I got it, baby. Can you tell them I got it, baby? I don't want to ask this question, right? But you gotta oh, do it. No. Do but it. for science, it goes to the right soft <laughs> Yeah, no, it just hangs to the right too. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. interesting. You just off balance. <laughs> just all the time. Just all the time. Just look. I tweeted this the other day <laughs> about how important representation is, and I feel like we need more, Life more dicks. curve, more curved dicks in porn, so dudes with curved dicks don't have to feel self conscious about it in their everyday Did life. You? you got a whole song of this. Like, what? Didn't, didn't Meg the Science <laughs> drop a ca Captain Hook record? Yeah. Oh, he gave true. you the look. I was very excited about that. I was, I was very. But this hit is a that, new development. Hit that with an uppercut. <laughs> Call that Captain Hook. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty great. Did you let him know there was anything you weren't allowed to talk about on here? Or I, did didn't, you? Okay. I didn't. Okay, so you're gonna be okay, right? I'm gonna be fine. Okay, I'll be fine. Whatever. The fact it is. that you had to ask if we can cuss on here, I was like, does he know where he is? Nah, he's good. Yeah. He'd be fucking with the heathens up at All Deaf Digital. He's that's hey, that's hey, that's wow, hey. that's racist. Why is that racist? <laughs> hey, how are they heathens, man? I, Come I on, I don't understand. I don't understand. How are they know, heathens? I don't know what happened. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I don't know why it's racist. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Tim just got real deep in. His corner, like I don't. No, 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 no,
And sometimes uh, you're itchy. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I tell you what. I tell you what. When you have a purple mattress, mm-hmm. you can sleep cool and comfortable no matter what the world throws at you. Mm. Did you know that? That's because only purple mattresses have the grid. All right. It's a unique ventilated design, allows air to flow through to help you sleep cool, even when it feels like a thousand degrees out. And the grid is amazingly supportive for your back and legs while cushioning your shoulders, neck and hips, no matter how you sleep. Mm. It, it's pretty dope. Unlike memory foam, which remembers everything just like that bitch I used to. No, I'm just playing. The <laughs> grid bounces back as you move and shift. So you never get that I'm stuck feeling you do with memory foam. Mm. Uh, I I do like this because I I don't like when a pillow is or a mattress is too soft. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know, and I also not too hard. You know, I need a little bit of resistance or else I wake up all sore. You hey, know? Goldilocks. Yes. Yes, I am Goldilocks. Yeah. <laughs> right? Uh and I do love porridge as well. Try your purple mattress risk-free with free shipping and returns. Financing is available too. And just for y'all, I got a special treat. Purple is comfort reinvented. Right now, you'll get 10% off any order of $200 or more. All you got to do is go to purple.com slash nochasergang10 and use promo code nochasergang10. That's purple.com slash nochasergang10 and use promo code nochasergang10 for 10% off any order of $200 or more one more time just in case you missed it purple.com slash nochasergang10 use promo code nochasergang10 terms apply this episode is sponsored by blue chew say it with us everybody blue chew blue chew is making waves and bringing more confidence to the bedroom by offering chewable tablets that can help men get stronger and longer lasting erections Mm. who don't like that i know i like it all right blue chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as viagra and cialis but in chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. Mm. Blue Chew's tablets help men achieve harder, stronger erections for all forms of erectile dysfunction, okay? Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy, and it ships right to your door in a discreet, in a discreet package. Nice. That's pretty dope. Mm -hmm. You don't have to deal with the awkward doctor visit or people staring at you like... He probably has erectile dysfunction. But not with Blue Chew. Not with Blue Chew. Don't judge you. Blue Chew, Sildenafil, and Tadalafil tablets are also chewable. And Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and they prepare and ship direct so it's cheaper than a pharmacy, okay? So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform in the bedroom, visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And here's a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use promo code TIM at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code TIM to receive your first month free. And we thank BlueChew for sponsoring the podcast. Uh, I, I definitely F with everybody All deaf deaf All deaf digital yeah. um, How did you Okay well before I get into All deaf um, I was gonna ask um, Coming from such You know you said You had a strict military dad Right mm-hmm. So how did you get into acting Was he not like Yo you better go Get an education And, and get a real job And this and, this and that When uh, we were living in Germany At the time And my mom had asked me Well I, I was watching TV And I saw I can't remember what show At the top of my head But I knew that they were Telling a story Okay, I could tell I'm like this isn't real But I like what's being Presented to me so I told my mom I wanted to do that mm. at a very young age. And she was like, do you mean you want to be on TV? I was like, I think I want to act. Mm. So um, my dad gets out of the military, moved back to the States. My mom asked me, does I still want to pursue it? And I said, absolutely. And we don't come from anyone like in the business being able to help us out or anything. We just get to LA and we just figure it out. Right. Um, so we just went at it. We just tried to figure it out as we went. We adapted mm-hmm. and it paid off. You know, I look, at, I look back on that and I got to, again, be thankful and grateful for the family for supporting so i could be able to like i bought my mom a house at 18 like i'm Dude, good like cool. that's an accomplishment you can't take it from me i did it so just like where we go from here we go from here mm-hmm. so yeah man yeah. what did you say you were from again originally? i was born in anchorage alaska oh word born in anchorage that right. was the military so anchorage and oh, then shit. germany and then here crazy yeah very rarely you meet anyone from alaska it worked in my favor mountain dew reached out to me and was like we need someone from alaska <gasps> <gasps> you <laughs> Perfect. That's crazy. Yeah. I've been to Anchorage, Alaska. I've not been. What? I have not been back. I haven't been back. Shit. I gotta check it out. I'm excited. Wow. Yeah, man. It's a. Uh, it's fun. <laughs> it's it's white. It's cold and cold. Yeah. A lot of Samoans up there. I heard. Yeah. Yeah. Mike. I got ants out there. Really? <laughs> I got family. I wasn't gonna say nothing, but I'm like, yeah, I got family out there. Hawaiians like to go to Alaska. It's Nevada 
and a lot tired of them. of all of this beautiful weather. Like, <laughs> I just want to be cold. It's so goddamn hot. <laughs> yeah, they go to Vegas and then they go to Alaska. I have no idea why, but that's where a lot of us are. They end up at, yeah. I ain't mad at it. I get it. Huh. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so we do that, yeah. We go from that to that and then. He's going to uh, talk about. Pops did a good job of like just like I, I grew up playing sports and everything and my parents did a great job of not making sure that it became everything we I did. Mm-hmm. So like I was still playing basketball at rec centers at Point City and Pan Pacific. I was still in LA just being still a regular kid. I feel you. Yeah. And then how long were you in Germany for? Oh, like two years. My brother Kadim was born there and that was it. We was out. Word. Yeah, man. Okay. So well traveled beforehand. You speak German? Not at all. Uh-huh. Not at all. I speak a little bit of French, a little bit of Arabic, and that's it. Word? Why do you speak Arabic? My mom's Moroccan. Oh, and then the French. Okay. Yeah. Damn, that's interesting. I was going to say, you know, you know what's weird about like going to Germany? What? (laughs) Schnitzel is not chili dogs. (laughs) (laughs) Is this a. (laughs) That's the, that was the craziest realization. Wait, what? (laughs) So what is it? It's not even hot dog. Schnitzel is breaded like pork or chicken. Like it's bread, it's breaded meat. It Which is, is kind of like a wiener dog, schnitzel, so meat the, the, inside the of bread. Breaded. No, but it's like a fucking like katsu. It's yeah. Not, it's, oh, it's like katsu. No, yeah. it, it, it's completely different. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> then what? You know, it is. No, nah, they was just like, okay, let's make a German sounding <laughs> place. German schnitzel. We have schnitzel. Hot dog. <laughs> 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 okay, we've, had, we've had this <laughs> conversation, but it is not at all. I did not know that. Wiener schnitzel. Yeah. Huh. And then you go there, bro, to Germany. And it really is all they be eating out there. It's just like, I don't know if it was because of who was hosting me or what, but they was taking us to so many schnitzel spots, right? And mm-hmm. I'm like, at one point, was I out there with Chia or whatever group I was with? We were like, can we can we not have schnitzel tonight, please? <laughs> Anything else. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah. No more schnitzel. I, was, I haven't been to, have you guys been to England? England, London, England? Anyway? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I have not been over there to like really try the food. Like I've, I've always heard it's a uh, thing. Don't no. Yeah. go no, that's for the not, food. Not, yeah. That's yeah. not what you go there for. <laughs> yeah. No, it's we don't really know. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're spoiled. Just know that you're spoiled where you are. For sure. Yeah. The, in in the, Manchester, they got good Chinese food. Yes, the, the Chinese food and Indian food in England Indian is, food is good. It's okay. really good there. I'll tell you a story about England, bro. Food. And I've told the story a billion times, but I'll tell it again because that's what we do here on the No Jason Park. Hey, run it back. Read. All right, so I was out there for a show with J.R. Kino, who's also from Alaska. Full circle. Full, uh-huh. I, full igloo. All right. Uh, <laughs> I hate that. I hate that. Were there Eskimos there? I'm like, it's a fucking city. Who, where are you yes. seeing Eskimos in Alaska? Never mind. <laughs> but, so we're in England for this show. We're in London specifically. And this cat that was hosting us, driving us around, his name was Segar. He had an interesting accent. Maybe maybe like Indonesian. I'm not sure, right? It, right. Was, it was unique. It wasn't British accent. So anyways, we're like, Segar, hey, what, what food do we need to eat out here? What's like specific to like London, England? What's, what's an England food we got to eat, right? He kind of thought about it. He was like, hmm, borados. And we were like, bought at what's that jar was like bought out what's what's, what's we yo we got to try that whatever it is was like what is it he was like oh well you know there's like mashed potatoes baked potato i was like cigar yeah. you talking about potatoes bro oh, wow <laughs> you telling us to eat potatoes <laughs> <laughs> that's there's, your specialty out here there's, there's, specialty, what they yeah. Yeah. there's potatoes potatoes yeah and and, and to to speak to them and having whack food. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, for, for, okay. English breakfast is great with, with, with the with the tomatoes and the beans and shit. I fuck with that. You don't fuck with it? Ooh, she can't go over there no more. <laughs> she can't go over there no more. I liked more. it. It looks crazy. I know. <laughs> Damn you, Rick. I didn't. I didn't realize my face made hey, that. Hey, the camera saw. My bad. Have you ever had English breakfast? No. They they do breakfast, but then they got like a bunch of shit with it: beans, tomatoes, blood sausage. I do believe. It's a it's a bunch of shit. It looks crazy. Sounds nuts. I dig it. Okay. A lot of people don't. But it it look. I, I didn't have. It. You're not writing home about it. Got it. All right. So food over there. I might have texted somebody from home. <laughs> they got beans on the plate. <laughs> 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 they got beans for these bread. niggas eating beans. <laughs> 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 oh, shit, man. Oh, oh, man. So if you go, just have somebody take you to Dixie's Chicken and just eat that. Every good day. Yeah. Good yeah. Dixie's yeah. Chicken. Um, but I was gonna say, you know, <laughs> uh, they they took me 
And this might just be the fault of the people that was hosting me, right? I don't know. Maybe there's better food out there. But they took me to what's called a, it was, it was called a carvery. It's kind of like a, like a, a, a fancier buffet, right? You go around with the plate. They cut off whatever meat, like the turkey or the pork or the ham or whatever. You get your meat. You get your side, your gravy, whatever, right? So I come back. I thought I put a moderate amount of gravy on it, like a, enough gravy for what you would normally have, right? Mm. I came back. Everybody, all the Brits were looking at me crazy. They were like, don't you want to put more gravy? You barely have any gravy. Where's your gravy? <laughs> and I'm like, and I look at their shit. I'm talking about covered oh, in gravy, bro. Plastered with it. So I cut into my shit and I'm like, it's dry, dude. Oh. <laughs> and I'm like, and, and I'm like, <laughs> they're like, you don't have enough gravy. I'm like, I'm telling tell you guys this. If y'all cooked it right, yeah. you wouldn't need this much. Yeah. Yeah. Just going to the back being like, excuse me, excuse me. I'm going to need you to stop what you're doing right now. It Knock like, it off. Oh, I was like, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying. Jeez. You're adding gravy when you could just add moisture yeah. Yeah. to your uh, food. Uh, is there anything you uh, you don't eat or you're, you're allergic to? Or? Oh, I'm allergic to a lot. I'm allergic to peanut butter. Oh. So the whole PB and J thing, I missed all that. Them kids. Yeah, exactly. The asthma kicked my ass out of that. The, the peanut, the peanut butter, aller- the peanut allergy kid yep. that you got to be real worried about. Well, see, it's not to that extent, right? Oh, okay. I just, I just can't have peanut. There butter. are some people mm-hmm. you cannot have it around. around. Them. They smell it. it is they get bad. high. Yeah, it's tell crazy. the people on the plane. So yeah. They don't, yeah, you know, right. Serve peanuts. If you yeah. are allergic to peanuts, we are sorry. <laughs> I hate my second grade teacher because she knew I had a peanut allergy. <laughs> she knew that. No one else in my class had a peanut allergy. She brought everyone the yellow bag of M and M's on the last day. Oh, you got the brown one. She didn't bring me nothing. <gasps> she didn't even she give you the brown bag. She brought me nothing. So to my second grade teacher, I'll never forgive you for that. I said candy, no not sweets for, for me. Bitches. <laughs> <laughs> So peanut oh butter. God. So fuck you, Aww, Mitchell. You can't even get no Skittles oh, or nothing yeah. instead. Yeah, bro. I'll you couldn't be the cool kid that got nothing. the different bag of candy. I got left out. Yo, she's an asshole. She's an asshole. That's like an you asshole. didn't want to circle back up. just to That's get me messed that? up. Look, to this day, this grown ass man is still upset. He did not Piss. get. Piss. This is Fernie Schrindy in, in <laughs> Germany. <laughs> what did you? You sound like one of those Muppets, the guy from <laughs> Chef Burke. Oh, our my Marvel. God. So it's peanuts, peanut butter, almonds, and uh, I don't like duck. I don't like <gasps> duck. I'm not a fan. Okay. I tried duck and like, this never happened to me. Like immediately, really? my stomach said no. Really? I've what, never had. Oily? I don't know. Yeah. I, I had gravy. a slice. Not enough gravy. <laughs> All right, I got to ask. What are your thoughts on mayonnaise? <clears throat> I don't mind mayonnaise. Okay, just gotta ask. Yeah, because we've mind. seen some people who are appalled by mayonnaise that what? just like cannot stand mayonnaise at all. I, I used to be. Mm. I feel like that was just black stuff. Like, okay. you ain't supposed to like mayonnaise. White people like mayonnaise. But mayonnaise. I was like, fuck this mayonnaise. And then I got older, and I was like, mm, kind of like mayonnaise. Yo. <laughs> don't don't tell nobody. Yeah. Man. Was it mayo or Miracle Whip? Though? No, that's different. You, There's a big st- you start with Miracle Whip. You start like there. that's that's the the door opener. Okay, <laughs> and then you get in a situation where you have no control over it, and they just put some mayo on there. And you're like, this ain't bad. Yeah, yeah. I don't like Miracle Whip. Um, it's not my thing. I've never even started with that. We just went straight to the mayonnaise. I mean, we put mayonnaise on rice, uh, chili, mayonnaise in all the macaroni salad. Hawaiian's got mm. macaroni okay. salad, so a lot of mayonnaise. Mm. I've never done. The the mayonnaise and rice. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, that is. A sandwich is the only thing I just like. Oh, maybe a hot dog too. Oh yeah, with well, hot dog. It's cool, yeah. Mm. But with a bunch of other shit. Have y'all? I know you guys have gone to Hawaii. Have you ever had Redondo hot dogs? Wait, no. you've never been to Hawaii? Yeah, I've never been. You've never oh, been. Wait, you've never oh, been. To, has really. Wow, I really. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry that You're I just well assumed traveled. that. You're well traveled. We get it. No, that's She's where I'm from. It. Oh, yeah. never mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're from Alaska. Okay, well, different. And then you lived in Huge Germany. Difference. Huge difference. Yeah. Okay. Living like coming from Hawaii. I, well, up until bad, now, I, this is the first person who's ever had that. I've never been to Hawaii yeah, either with me, so I, <laughs> I assumed I everybody went to. Assume that you guys have gone like you together. Guys have gone. We yeah. were supposed to this past month, but plans fell through. Oh, okay. Well, in Hawaii, we have um, they're called Redondo hot dogs, and they're red hot dogs, and you eat them not in a bun but on the bread like white bread mm-hmm. like a regular slice yeah regular slice mayonnaise like hot dog mm-hmm. and some uh and some ketchup and that shit is fire that sounds great so good all of that with the rice. And you can get it at zippies with the rice i think it's just poor uh poor people things you know so like some like, type any type of season yeah you put like salt and pepper but 
my grandma, I don't know, we bigger people, at least the rest of my family is bigger people, and they eat rice and mayonnaise. I mean, look. <laughs> why do, I don't know why, butter, mm. rice, and sugar. Uh, I, imagining rice with mayonnaise doesn't sound bad. No, It sounds have, like it's good. You I don't have like it with like other things. <laughs> look, we're easing you in. Look, I'm happy you're in the mayonnaise club. I'm not, whatever you need to do to stay here, we'll do. I'm nah, not I don't think, I don't, I don't think I'll ever, I'll ever do. I don't think, and right. I don't think anybody ever really has to. It's just one of those things. I feel like in your household, you've seen like a family member do yeah. and I've had it. And then with chili, instead of sour cream, we always use mayonnaise. Interesting. With chili instead of sour cream. Oh. Yeah. So instead oh. of sour cream, I didn't grow up really eating sour cream unless it was for a taco. Yeah. Everything creamy, we use mayonnaise. Yeah. I didn't never put sour tell cream you, in my chili either. Yeah. yeah, me neither. But I tell you, oh, no, I do sour cream with the chili sometimes. Mayonnaise, try the mayonnaise. Okay. Yeah. I, t- I tell you what the Brits do, bring it full circle. That is, that mm. is solid. That was a great uh, trip for that you. That a lot of them do is fries so, in the mayonnaise. So good. That is something I do now. <laughs> I went to Disneyland with this girl. She got some chicken strips and fries from somewhere. I didn't even know Disneyland had that. I was shocked. But then she was like, do you have like mayonnaise and like vinegar? And oh. I was just thrown the fuck off. She Filipino? No. She Brazilian? Okay. I think. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, she fucking, they had it, first of all, which was weird. <laughs> and she mixed the vinegar into her mayonnaise. It was just dipping the fries like that. Might. Yeah. I didn't try it, but I was like, oh, huh, interesting. I might turn around and try that. You ain't never had no Alaskan food. <laughs> what is Alaskan? Like Alaskan cod, Alaskan king crab legs. So. Yeah. Blubber. What is Blubber. <laughs> he's been on, he's, he's been on TikTok. Oh, Rich has clearly been oh on TikTok watching indigenous people and what yeah. they eat in ah. Alaska. Yeah, dried meat. Yes. Yeah. Dried fish. A lot, a lot of dried yeah. fish. Yeah. Shout out to those content creators. We love you. Yeah. Love her. Ice? No. <laughs> <laughs> they do make the blubber look really good, though. Yeah. It looks fire. They have this knife that they use, and they cut it up, and they dry it, and when they eat it, that shit oh, looks just, so It's coming, like, fresh good. off the animal, like, right there? Are they cooking it or anything? Help me out. Yes. <laughs> okay, I, so I, I've seen them cut up what was it a seal or yeah, oh, yeah like no that. no but it's survival oh. remember in some, didn't this just is like for kill it. no this like, is for their right, culture right, right right yeah no yeah no, I yeah and then they eat the they use every part every of it every part yeah and that's I a part know. of their culture no and, yeah. yeah but when they do the whale blubber i've seen there's one specific creator and when they when she does it i'm like that looks really good I don't feel that way. I feel, <laughs> I feel that way. I'm like that. Lover. I also love uni and all types well, of others. I, I love the fatty part of the steak. Yeah. So I'm uh, I'm all for it. It looks uh, to, to me. To me. Yeah, very chewy. I don't mind it. I mean, look. Blubber, though. If I'm in, if I'm in I Alaska, <laughs> feed someone, me some blubber. someone offers me some seal blubber. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> seal blubber. I'm, I'm definitely going to say no. <laughs> On the menu, yeah. bro. Yeah. I've yeah. had enough. <laughs> all right, look, man. We all getting a little older out here. You know what I'm saying? Especially Nikki. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and things happen. <laughs> things happen to people, especially their hair. You know, um, hairlines recede. Hair thins out. You get bald spots. And uh, two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time they are 35. Here's two. More than 50 million men in the U.S. suffer from male pattern baldness. There are only two FDA-approved medications that can prevent hair loss, and Keeps offers both. Get out. <gasps> uh, no, I will not. Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair. Convenient virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months. You don't even have to leave your home. Convenient. Convenient and low cost. Treatments start at just $10 per month and Keeps offers generic versions. Discreet packaging and proven results. Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. Prevention is key. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. Treatments can take four to six months to see results, so act fast so you can be sexy-haired out here in these streets, okay? If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to K-E-E-P-S dot com slash no chaser to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash no chaser to get your first month free. One more time. K-E-E-P-S dot com slash no chaser. Hey, man, it's crazy out there nowadays. Okay. And I love that I can just be at home. Whatever food I want to order, I can just order it straight to my door. Mm. And that's why I F with the DoorDash. 
You guys use DoorDash? I, I do. love DoorDash. Yeah. Uh, everything you want. Yeah. Right there. Anything you're in the mood for. Wiener and, schnitzel. Ah, yes. Wiener schnitzel. So good. Pretty great. And you know what? Along with the restaurants you love, you can now get groceries and other essential items delivered with DoorDash. Get drinks, snacks, and other household items in under an hour. I have DoorDashed floss before because I really needed it. Yeah. I have DoorDashed razors and lotions when you forgot to bring some. Perfect. <laughs> I have questions. I'll take them for later. <laughs> you know? We talked about it on the podcast yeah. before. You got to go back to know what we're talking about. Yeah. Are you craving late night ice cream? Forget that one key ingredient for dinner. Or maybe you just need to stock up for the week. With DoorDash, get everything in one app. With over 300,000 partners, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and the Cheesecake Factory. Ordering is easy, and your items will be left safely outside your door when you choose contactless delivery drop-off. I love that. Don't talk to me. Seriously. Don't. I don't, don't even, uh, let's not even make eye contact. Yeah. All right? Ring my doorbell. Get off my property. Yeah, and if I open the door right after, don't look back. Yeah, please don't. I say thank you. Yeah, and you better say you're welcome, but don't you dare look <laughs> back. Don't you look back. Don't you look back. <laughs> <laughs> For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code NOCHASER. That's 25% off, up to $10 value, and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the app store and enter code no, no chaser. chaser. Don't forget, that's code no, no chaser. chaser for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. Do you like to eat different types of food? Would you do, or you say were you an experimental eater, would you say? No, not at all. Picky as hell, bro. Ah. I picky as hell. Like, I stick to the things I know. Like, I realize going to a restaurant, ordering something new mm. that you don't like is a waste of money. Why no would problem. I go and I'm not going to enjoy my food and I just ruin the experience? So just ah. order what I know. But the risk of finding something new mm -hmm. is worth it. Yeah, I've always I've always been introduced something new where it's like I'm not like, hey, you should try this. Mm. Like, okay, little no, versus take a piece you of looking it. at a menu and having to pay for it. Bingo. Got it. Right, right, right. Like okay. I I never yeah. liked anything off the Cheesecake Factory. Never ever? Nothing. What? It's such a big so menu. I know. There's, there's a lot. I know. There's but a I lot. quit two years like going. I was wow. like, I'm done. I, there's nothing here. Not like. even the cheesecakes? Oh no, no, cheesecakes are fine. That's completely okay. different. I was, That's I was completely okay. Different. I was like, That's you gotta find something different. there. Yeah. Get out. And then yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm just saying. Yeah, you not a look through the whole menu. It's a really big menu. It's a lot of I don't think you've had everything. No, I haven't had everything, but anything that I could actually like, oh, this looks appealing. I've gone for and I don't like it, man. Okay, so what is what is the thing that you're going for uh for what goes to cheesecake just in general oh like a steak love steak love mashed okay. potatoes i was just gonna say yeah cheesecake factory it's on their light menu as well okay it's these steak medallions mm -hmm. cut up you, you weren't feeling those? i wasn't feeling those what the, oh. why i just it didn't it didn't you hit for me it wasn't seasoned enough I, it just tasted like you gotta marinate the meat bro. i mean nobody's really going to cheesecake factory to eat steak no no not really not well, I mean, really that's but, not what i'm there for. but it's potato is 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 mashed potatoes and like and asparagus shit it's not what we're like there the dude from london huh Say man it. shit got put the gravy on man <laughs> no potatoes okay so you, you so, you, so, you, so you he's a so, cheesecake factory nikki blake i get my turkey there it's called a glam burger that they have there they have a turkey burger there and i get extra blue cheese and then on the side i ask for the dip i know what i like when i go to these places mm. and it's good every single time and if you get a side salad from cheesecake factory mm. they got this uh, little balsamic vinaigrette that they do mm. and it's really good and they toast their buns I know what I like. He doesn't eat turkey. Well, that, you asked me what turkey. I wanted, not what he wanted. I was going to say, bro, Disneyland turkey I legs? Holy I like oh, steak. Bro. I love steak. That's my one thing. Like I've, I, During the pandemic, I drove to Disneyland, and this is when it was like just opening, and they had the line wrapped way, way even past downtown Disney. It was in the parking lot of it. And we stood in that line for three hours just for me to get a turkey leg. <laughs> Oh, hell. Just, you didn't go life. to the front and be like, um, I was in. Man, I'm not playing that <laughs> fucking card at the front. I'm not playing I'm that card. Yeah, I'm not playing that card. Yeah, did you just go see us under the back? No. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. No, I'm not playing that card. Not he there. He said, we just want some turkey legs. Can they bring it out to the front, So wait, did you did you have a pass or you paid for a whole ass ticket? I paid for the whole ticket. You lying. Just for ass. For the regular turkey leg? Just for a turkey And then you left? Have you had the buffalo turkey leg? Oh, my God. I'm so hungry. Is that there? It's in California Adventure. Okay. It's. We Damn, it's all right when you go in. Right, fuck, I don't even know how to explain. The, it. When you go in, that's right. like Buena Vista area. Yeah, uh huh. 
go straight. Straight. Now you're passing, like you're, you're going, going toward like the Ferris wheel. Mm -hmm. Towards the Ferris wheel, you're gonna make a right. Okay, let's just get in front of um, Ariel's ride. Mm -hmm. Okay, but okay. the grotto joint. Please Not the grotto, the ride, the Little point. Mermaid oh, ride. No, right, like right, right. Keep going down. Okay. It's past the corn dogs. Okay, corn past dog the corn dogs. Yeah. There's a place you called corn make dog a little. There? You make a, that little turn. You can't go any further. You have to turn left. Mm -hmm. Right there, they have buffalo turkey. It's have, it's like a cafeteria type thing. I haven't been to Disneyland Fire. since 2007. <laughs> oh, I've, yeah. yeah I've you only, one of those. I've only went for my senior trip. And I haven't been back. I'm I would love to go. For Disneyland. I am not too old. I was too broke for Disneyland. Oh. I couldn't afford to go for you a while. You gotta long time. go now that you got money yeah. and you yeah. drink. I want, because I want to eat everything. You, the fact that there is a corn dog castle. Yeah. Corn dog oh, castle? Bro. Fuck oh. fire. I haven't had this one. Oh, yet. bro. They have hot link corn dogs. Oh, oh it, my God. I love hot links. And do, they, you do, main, do you do mustard on your hot mustard, links? Mustard, ketchup, mustard. Oh, and, so good. and they are ginormous. Yeah. Oh, I, I definitely want a big ass hot link. <laughs> mm -hmm. Of course you do. Yeah. Of course I do. <laughs> the, the vinegar mayonnaise girl. So I went with her a few times. She oh, would she, always get the corn dog and then make me like take video of her taking her first bite of it. Mm. I don't know who she was sending that shit to <laughs> later. But it was, I was like, you nasty. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good to know. You never saw the videos posted or nothing? No. Oh, damn. So and it I'm, wasn't with my so, phone. It was she gave so me Rick, her when phone. I, when yeah. I text you, I'm going to Disneyland. I'm going to hit up Corndog Castle. Corndog Castle. Get That's get in California Adventure. Yeah. California Adventure. It's at the Got one it. across. Don't yeah. go to Disneyland okay. for that one. And at California Adventures, you can get beer, you can get margaritas. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a restaurant with a bar in there that people don't really know okay. about. As soon as you hit um, the little Main Street area of California Adventures, there's a, a bar restaurant right there. And you can go in. They won't pour you a shot, but they will pour you an alcohol into a glass. That you can <laughs> That you can, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I like that you fuck with Disneyland, bro. You yeah. Know? I feel like a lot of people, a lot of older people, you know, they, they want to be like, I don't know. That's, you know, but like, were you... Did I ever do that, or I just talked about doing that, going to Disneyland? Because we had the passes at one point. Yeah, you never did it. Well, I just went to go get the turkey leg and left. Oh no, 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 you did it once. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Because we we had passes, so I did that once. Um, but I have never heard of anybody paying Pain. for the ticket yeah. Yeah. Just, just for the turkey leg. Yeah, I was fiending that day. That's <laughs> all I want. That's all I want today, and it, I, it took up the rest of my day. But I really do love the That's land, some rich bro. Shit. And they're working on a lot of crazy stuff, like you know, they got the Star Wars thing. Uh, kicking off I think in Disney World mm. which is going to be like a huge um, uh, like ship but you could stay there like it's the hotel what? but it's completely Star Wars themed out so like your waiters and everyone will look like actual like creatures from the Star Wars world. it's going to be nuts Damn. I can't wait to see that yeah. have you been to the new Star Wars area in Disneyland nope it's pretty fucking sick I know bro. I'm <laughs> jealous of everyone who's gone and made a freaking lightsaber and all that it's I'm like yo tight. come on bro. so Chia's family was in town uh, like last week and um, everybody wanted to go to California Adventures and not Disneyland because we only had one day so we were like they were like we really want to spend a whole day in California Adventures but her cousin's boyfriend huge Star Wars fan he was like I really just want to see this new Star Wars area he was like I'm gonna get the park hopper pass just so we can go I was like fuck it I'll go with you right so for an hour we went over there and I, that shit is like wow they got the whole Millennium Falcon and they got this ride bro where you're in line and they're like okay pilot pilot uh shooter whatever it is mm. and dog it's a whole ass like you get into this pod two people gotta steer it oh, and the shit. person in the pack is oh. firing yep. it's, it's lit wait that's in disneyland i thought that was in california adventure it's at the land no it's in disneyland so did they take out pizza port no here's what's stupid bro so you go thinking it's gonna be at the old star wars area with pizza port with um space mountain all that yeah, it's on man. the opposite side of the park yeah Where what did they it? take out it's it's literally past Small World, mm -hmm. and then you go all the way back. I think they just added more shit. Oh. So past to, so your Small World's on your right hand side. Toontown's right in front of you with the Roger Rabbit riders. It's to the right. Or did they Unless they got rid Toontown. of Toontown. They didn't get rid of Toontown. Oh, did you not see Toontown? Oh, I can't believe they got rid of Toontown. No way. Poor Turkey Lake. What the fuck is going on over there at Disneyland? I have never been so lost in a conversation before in my life. I am like, I feel like I'm deprived. Nikki, I want to go now. You can take a picture looking like you're trying to lift a really heavy weight. It's awesome. 
That's really cool. Okay, look. We I need that. We're going to do a No Chaser Disney Day because <gasps> Blades needs to experience this. Yes. Right? Yes. And you got you to find the hidden Mickeys. Yeah. You got to know where all the hidden Mickeys are. Okay. I think um, can help me with that. There's a thing where, about that ride that Tim was mentioning, there's a thing, Tim, where if you go in there and you hit certain buttons in a certain sequence, it changes the entire experience. So now it's just Chewbacca speaking through the headphones. What? Yeah, it's a whole different thing. That's crazy. They fans oh. figured that out, and I'm like, that's th I love Easter egg shit like that. You yeah. know what I mean? Like that's what that's how you draw people in and like make people want to come back. I didn't do that. I got to go back now and see this. Yeah. Yeah. I love stuff like that, bro. You got to have Easter eggs for stuff like that. That's amazing. One time I was in California Adventure. I was waiting for this girl to finish peeing. Right, so I'm sitting down, and this dude comes out to me. He's sweeping. He's a he's a cast member there, and he's like, hey, you want to see a hidden Mickey? That's exactly how he said. I'm not bullshitting. And I was like, huh? He's like, you want to see a hidden Mickey? I was like, sure. So he was like, you see that pole right there? Follow it all the way up. Mm. Like, does that shit? So I follow it up. And at the top, there's a Mickey. And I come down, I'm like, oh. He's gone. He Motherfucker gone. was. <laughs> what? And this was not, this was not in like a small location. Like, it was pretty wide open. I should have seen him. Yeah. There's no way he could have been that fast. <laughs> he just disappeared. I was like, magic. Baby. <laughs> he's all magic. Like, I have to come back now. And that dude, meanwhile, that dude is behind a trash can, like, <sighs> <laughs> oh, so what? worth it. God, he every looked, time. <laughs> he just looked up so goddamn fast. I didn't realize he was going to look up that goddamn quick. I had to run. I done tucked and rolled oh, and ended up man. over here. Oh, my God. I see him looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> Can you just imagine, like, from their point of view, just watching you? Yeah. Yeah. There he is, experiencing <laughs> what Disney really is about. Um, I have a question. Yeah. It's not food related. Mm. How was it playing Powerline and doing the whole performance? I'm a huge Goofy movie fan. Oh. I love Powerline. That whole thing was amazing. What was that experience for you getting dressed up from the hair to the outfit to the backup dancers? Yeah. Can you talk about it? Dream bit? come true. Oh. I've had that dream since I was in elementary school. No lie. I remember it was a rainy day and they pulled out, you know, normally they, they would roll out the um, the TVs into the classrooms. But for our school, they had us all in the um, uh, auditorium mm -hmm. and they lift the thing down. Then boom, they projected the movie up there. So you're seeing Roxanne for the first time. Uh. They're like, Max. It's like that shit was so cool. And then you see Max dresses Powerline and then they go through the whole journey. Then you see Powerline for the first time hit that stage. Uh. And it was nothing like that feeling. So it stuck with me all these years, right? right? So two years before we did Powerline, I was going hard on every Halloween. I did Jafar and then I did Dr. Facilier from um, A Princess and the Frog. Mm. We're in the pandemic. I'm on my Twitch channel and I'm like, look, if I was to do something this year to try to like continue to have a Halloween King crown, I would do Powerline. Mm -hmm. And they were like, let's do it. Mm. Like, mm, I've never done a donation thing. I've never done a go Kickstarter or a GoFundMe. I've never done it. So I'm like, well, Twitch allows you to have that ability to do it live on your stream. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens. So I called my uh, director of photography. I called the choreographer, the dancers, the person who uh, I wanted to design the costume. We worked with like Selena Gomez and, and Cardi B. I saw all, all of his stuff. I was like, I want him. Mm -hmm. Like he knows how to make this come to life. <laughs> so the budget comes in. I go to my Twitch. I tell them what I want to do. And they were like, let's do it. We started the, the, the campaign and it was met in a week. Damn. Within a week, I had the entire budget to go shoot that. Crazy. Wow. So we booked it. The hair was wild. I yes. loved it. Like I had to go for it. Yeah, if you were gonna do this, you, you had to like really hair. go all in. Yeah. And like I, the only time I've ever done choreographed dance was in roll bounce. Mm. So I've never done. I've never trained dance or anything. So I busted my ass for a month, like mm -hmm. on Zoom with my choreographer, learning it step for step for step. And I love the reaction it got. I really do appreciate everyone who's who's checked it out, man. And it's it's a dream come true. Like I can check that off my list. Like no one can touch that. Yeah, I love. remember that shit going viral. Yeah, he was like, you he, he was like, one day you woke up, he was like, I got myself an ocean. <laughs> <laughs> one that I hope you'll understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to him, man. Shout out to him, man. Tevin Campbell reached out, which was oh, really, did he? Oh. Yeah, to see Tevin Campbell reach out and it was like, yo, this is great. For Lil Nas X to tweet about it, I was like, that was pretty cool. Oh, that's great. Yeah, he said so hard and I was just like, 
<laughs> You're like glad I, you got I appreciate that, Nas. I appreciate it, Nas. But yeah, man, it was a dream come true, and I really do love everyone. Yeah, who liked it. Yeah. Love Powerline. So when I saw because of Twitch, yeah. when I had seen that, that's what you were gonna do, and then you executed it. I was like, he got the backup dancers, and everybody's doing their thing, and it wasn't just you dressed up in mm -hmm. some sort of spirit, you know, a Halloween costume. It was yeah. like full blown. Yeah, custom. It, I need to go look this up. I didn't. Oh, you haven't seen yeah. it. Is dope. And did you have a fat lady no so that, but here's the reason i couldn't do it we were still during covid and pen so they, yeah. they they limited to who i could have that was there i'm like that's yeah. that's how you bring that fully uh, together and i didn't you I got to do a part two i've thought about it. it people like want to do stand out this year and i'm like we've already done eye to eye i don't okay. think i can do that i yeah. think i've taught like i've yeah, I'm that done. is, you yeah. can't go any higher than I that. I can't. And you got to hit up Polly Shore. <laughs> I'm sure he'll do it. Oh, oh with the cheese wings. Jesus. Tower of cheese. Yeah. yeah, man. Yes. Uh, that is one of my favorite movies. And Powerline had to be like the first cartoon character I really had a crush on. He was hot. They said he was inspired by Bobby Brown. Oh, makes sense. Makes sense. Michael Jackson. Oh. Yeah, he was a combination yeah, of those. Yeah, you can tell because yeah. as soon as he came out, you were like, is this... <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Cartoon person. And come in real life form. If you combine their voices, you get Tevin Campbell. Oh, so yeah. good. Mm. That was such a good part. And the perfect cast. Yeah. yeah. We went for it, man. We went for it, so. I always tell people that like um a goofy movie is, is one of the Disney movies that made me cry. Like at like at, and I remember watching like, damn, why am I crying during a goofy movie? But this just hit oh. me. You know, when they're floating on the water. Yeah. And I was like, bruh, this is really hitting me right now. And a lot of people you say that to, they, yo, goofy movie made me cry. They're like, what? Like no. they, don't remember. they don't remember. Single yeah. father yeah. sacrificing everything, just wanting to be in his son's life and yeah. watching that story unfold. Oh. It's a banger, bro. Such Super slept movie. on. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. So it's cool to see Powerline kind of get a, a resurgence. Like I've been a fan of all these years and I had never seen them really put any like there's no merchandise there was nothing right. for them for years and then finally in the last two or three they just started like throwing it out there yeah. like yo there's sweaters there's shirts there's bags I'm like you know what's what crazy is um I don't know if it's because of a deal that Tevin Campbell signed or what or mm -hmm. like some type of distribution uh whatever's going on but you cannot find as far as I know last time I looked you can't stream those songs um Stand out or um, oh yeah, they're always like recorded. You gotta look them up on YouTube. YouTube, like, yeah. it's but a, there's no, like that's the only way I can play it. Yeah, I swear I've played it on Spotify. Maybe I'm tripping, or maybe it's something. No, changed. you can hear it, but it's it almost sounds like it's recorded from something. It's not like the original oh, audio. Man. Dig it's not on there neither. The whole song's not on really? streaming, any streaming platform. What, which what is, is it? weird. Dig. The dig it song. So really, oh, nope. That's been really popping off on uh, TikTok, TikTok too, yeah. right? So you, you're you on Twitch and you're on TikTok and I'm seeing um, a lot of people remaking that song. Yeah. How do you feel about that coming back up? I love it. You know, like I understand that like you do one role it, and for certain people it haunts them forever. Like they can't break it. Right. For me, I'm like, bro, I'm the black Harry Potter. Like you're not take like you can't, <laughs> you can't take this from me. It, I would have been a fan of that movie and that character if it wasn't me. Uh -huh. Right. So I'm just blessed enough to have that role on the resume. Like I grew up loving Mortal Kombat. Sub-Zero is my favorite character. Mm. I grew up playing Mega Man X. One of the characters in it, his name was Zero. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, the dog's name Zero. is Zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And that pantheon of people named Zero within the media industry you got to put that little curly haired fucker up there. <laughs> and I'm cool with that. I love it, man. So it's really cool to see it get remade and, you know, it's introduced to a new generation, which I think is really special because it was still a re required reading book in curriculums across America. Mm. So they would read the book wow. and then watch the movie. So for years, I've had my own PR publicist talking to the next generation because it was in their schools anyway. Right. Wow. So, yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. How did the uh, Twitch shit start popping off for you? Man, so right before the pandemic, I was sitting down with Fox Soul and I wanted to have my own late night talk show mm. because I felt like we didn't have any young black men doing that. Mm. It wasn't there for us. We had black, we had a black woman show, black age show, but there was no black man like Arsenio Hall. Mm. We didn't have that. So I sat down with Fox Soul. They loved the idea. We're getting ready to shoot the, uh, the pilot second week of April pandemic done mm -hmm. it's all going away so now i'm at the crib just like everyone else i'm like okay twitch has always been a thing for gaming i do game but i think there's something else here so i studied that shit for mm. like a month i took myself to school i watched everyone else's streams i looked up all the youtubes like i figured it out mm -hmm. and then just presented myself and just kept going and going and going and grinded it out made the gaming things did the, the live sing-alongs did the mm -hmm. the karaoke nights everything that I had the ideas to do for 
the show. Mm. And it's been an amazing journey, bro. Big shout out to Twitch for like really bringing me into the the corporation. And like, you know, we've partnered with Nitsa, we've partnered with Nintendo, Edible Arrangements. That's dope. They brought me into like really like, oh, this is something different. This isn't just a gamer. Like he kind of understands all the other spectrum. So yeah, man, That's I tight, love it. Man. Yeah, brother. Dope. Thank you, brother. That's real dope. Yeah. So uh, what else should we be? What else, you got some surprises? What should we be looking forward to? There's a new film coming out called Scrap. I'm really oh. excited for S C R A P. Uh really, really well done project that I think we all need to we all need that kind of story, especially right now. So the trailer will come soon for that. And then uh more and more with Twitch, bro. A lot more with Twitch. Halloween is creeping up. Ooh. I've been training for the Batman Beyond thing. So What's the Batman Beyond thing? After what we did for Powerline. Uh -huh. Now ah, people are like, God. so are you what can you, you come back? Do? Right. Can you go high? I'm like, mm. if we're gonna do it, we're gonna go this way then. I didn't audition for superhero films and all that and shows mm -hmm. haven't been one. It's it's weird though. Let me ask let me ask you guys this. Like mm. I would love to get a consensus on this. If I go do it myself, right? Mm -hmm. I go put the Terry McGinnis Batman Beyond fit on. It's already done. I have it. It's at the mm -hmm. house sitting in the closet. If I put that on and present that to the world, don't you think that kind of eliminates me from the roster? of potentially being able to actually bring one of these characters in Marvel or DC to life because now it's like he's already presented so it takes the special away because we're not doing it. I wouldn't say mm. that. No. I mean, I think it really depends on... I mean, I, I know that, you know, like for Marvel, when, when, when they're casting people, right, I think the main issue for them is that, like, as long as you don't have a substantial role as another Marvel character, that's it, yeah. right? Um, and like, I feel like I've seen, I couldn't name it off the top of my head, but I've seen stuff where people put something together online and then and then that makes the um, the bigger companies be like, oh shit, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. he could do that, right? Yeah. Um, I like auditioned, Bel -Air. You see, like Bel Air, yeah. like Bel Air. And um, I auditioned, oh man, it was so fucked up, but not, <laughs> I, I, I got hit up to audition for uh, a Marvel thing like months ago, right? <laughs> like months ago. And specifically it said, this part is small enough that he will not be um, excluded from future Marvel mm -hmm. yeah. roles. So I was like, oh, okay, well that's cool. Um, I didn't get it, but here's what was fucked up is I was watching Shang-Chi, which is great, mm -hmm. y'all should watch. Mm -hmm. Power to my Asian people. And I was watching, I was watching the first scene and I'm like, where they're like sitting in the restaurant talking, there's two couples. And I'm like, man, why have I seen this? <laughs> there it is. I auditioned. Yeah, that for was this. smart. <laughs> and that was the first time that had ever happened to me. Because, yeah. you know, I'd seen other shit in the past. It was like smaller shit. It was like, oh, I auditioned for this. But this was the first big one. I was like, I know this. Um, Damn. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm watching like, <laughs> <laughs> uh. was the person somebody you knew, though? N no see i had that happen and it was somebody i knew oh word like, well ain't that a bit <laughs> Luckily, yeah. i didn't want to audition though i was just asked to uh, but it was a it was an episode of insecure mm. and rome mm. <laughs> ended up doing the lines of the game. i was like okay okay uh, <laughs> oh, you, wanted attractive. Oh, okay. <laughs> you should have said that why'd you ask me uh, <laughs> No, I don't think that would keep no. you from actually getting I don't think No. Nah. I mean, the Marvel Universe, and you've seen how it works anyways. There's so many eyes in different universes, and there's multiple storylines that you can actually go with. So it just depends on what they want to present. True. Because or they might be like, oh, this nigga like DC. <laughs> <laughs> See? That could do I mean, but if Ryan Reynolds can come back and do Green Lantern and yeah. then get Deadpool and then them make fun of it, yeah. come on. You can do anything then. Isn't Thanos two characters? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they've been they've been flopping around for a minute. Like Chris yeah. Evans was uh, Johnny Storm in Fantastic Four, uh -huh. Captain America, and then Michael Jordan was um, the other Fantastic Four. He yeah. was the other Flame guy, and then came oh. back over to do Kill Killmonger. Killmonger. Yeah, yeah. Oh. it's like you can only you got to be good. Did you see Deadpool two? <laughs> yes, and were they were they reference it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And yeah. fucking James Gunn directing Guardians of the Galaxy and um, Suicide, Suicide Squad. Squad. So, I yeah, mean, man. shit. He follows me on Twitter. I'll be trying to get in there like, hey, bro, let me know, man. <laughs> but it, Please. It, it is funny when you're watching a movie and you're seeing, like, the references. Like, you're like, oh, okay, there we go. So, the Green Lantern's just going to fall out of the wallet right there? Okay, yeah. cool. Or you see Deadpool. I like that. And there's a movie with <laughs> dude that plays Thanos and, um, and, 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 and Wanda 
uh, their two characters in this movie have a sex scene. So if you want to watch Thanos, wow, get it on, <laughs> smash the Scarlet Witch, <laughs> smash the Scarlet Witch. You should check out this movie. I've only Ooh, seen that scene. That's that. It's pretty lit. Be careful on the internet. You're gonna stumble across some shit you can't unsee. Bro, we got yeah. Spider Man coming out, right? Yeah. Are you excited? Are you guys excited about it? About like, the multiverse? You... Yeah. Super excited. Yeah. Yeah. But this, not? I, 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 we have no confirmation of of anything. The teaser trailer didn't confirm anything. Oh, come on, dog. I, I didn't yes, it did. It. Wait, what are you doing? I didn't watch it. You didn't watch the trailer? No. Good, don't, yeah. don't, don't. Didn't you want to stay away from it completely yeah. until the release? Nice. <laughs> it definitely confirmed. It didn't confirm, it didn't confirm Toby. It didn't confirm Andrew. But you don't think Dr. Dr. Octopus said Doc Ock's the great villain. He's a great actor, but they didn't confirm the other two. You tripping, bro. Okay. All right. Remember I said it here. <laughs> when like, you watch it and it don't come, the real don't be mad, bro. <laughs> you tripping, bro. We'll see. We'll see. We'll nah, see. They, they all going to pop up. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> do you see Hugh Jackman coming as Wolverine you know what I've heard I've heard that like oh you mean like in, in the new like well, we see the new him, X-Men and stuff yeah well we see him back ever taking on that character because Logan was the best sign off for him that's yeah. did you see Logan yes oh, Logan made man it. speaking yeah. of crying, crying movie, right? bro. <laughs> no, Lord. yo my dad was into comic books so growing up my whole life I've always been into that and oh, but one thing about the Marvel, I mean, one thing about just these comic book movies in general is that they do sometimes pull from other spaces and under other parallel universes and storylines and kind of just add little sprinkles in here and there. You never know. Someone could decide he needs to be here in this one and just like pop up or do an Easter egg and have uh, references in the background somewhere. I'll be uh... Yeah, man. I really thought that um, in WandaVision when they did... Uh... With uh, what's his face? With her brother? Oh yeah, I Nick thought Silver. Yeah, I thought that was gonna be the yeah the connection, but it wasn't. It was. It was they, just a little. I think they threw that to Loki to build that out now. So right, Loki right, built right. out the multiverse. Now yeah. we really have the multiverse of madness coming with Doctor Strange. Yeah. And if you've been watching the What If series, like that, really like confirmed, like okay, it's gonna be coming from everywhere. I gotta catch up on What If. Yeah. Yeah. I just love how everything's connected. Everything's connected, and they always put little. Mm -hmm. little bre uh, breadcrumbs for you yeah, brother. what we it get Wesley Snipers Blade though yeah, it makes me wonder how that's happening like is that somebody like okay this is everything that's gonna happen yeah. let's figure it out or is it like it's let's Kevin Feige some shit and then figure out how we gonna make it tie in like, I think it's Feige I, would, I think it's the producer the, the head over there Marvel that guy is, is a genius he's yeah. figured out how to give the like diehard fans and just the normal fans something that they want right and he's figured it out like he got the whole timeline like they they call it um they call it it's another word they use for like pieces in the story. So like they have different directors, different writers working on stuff. These are the pieces you're allowed to play with mm. from these other properties. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can put this here if you want. Right. You don't have to, but just know it all has to end up tying down to yeah. the next Avengers run or whatever. Well, remember when comic books were only for nerds? Mm -hmm. What was the transition that took it from Comic Con and the who and the people that knew to mainstream? It was never only for nerds. It That's really the, wasn't. The thing. Well, like, but we all, yeah, go ahead. But there were, there was just some people who were obsessed with it and they were called nerds. Uh -huh. But everybody liked this shit. Okay. Yeah. But when you, there were some nerdy ass people who, that's all they had. So mm -hmm. they just put everything into it. And it got the bad rep, but nah, cool people always like uh, comics. Okay. Saturday morning cartoons, bro. I think it was the X Men, the Spider Man, oh, the Batman. Yeah. Like those were the three Ooh. animated f cartoons. Were like yeah. we gotta watch. Yeah, man, I remember. Man, that old Batman cartoon was so. It was actually like so shooting good. people. It was dope, bro. It was so that one is dope. X Men is the reason why I work out and I like to look the way I look. Is because <laughs> the comic book female is the epitome of strength. She is feminine. She is beautiful. Like every single one of the characters they all have something but they look just powerful and they're sexy jubilee. oh jubilee was popping <laughs> shout out to my even though i like her little yellow trench coat and her little hair shout out to her for being trending. secretly asian out here too man yeah. <laughs> but, but again like a lot of the comic book characters it was diverse you had so much representation in it and everybody could identify with a character yeah. and so for me i was like that's what it's supposed to look like and, and speaking of marvel making movies for people who aren't normally into like you know comic books or whatever um at all my asian people who are going to shang chi to watch and it's your first marvel movie ever please don't get up when the credits start all right <laughs> that is how everybody will know that you are an amateur oh, out yeah. here that you're a uh -huh. newbie out here Bruh. please stay seated through the whole credits okay 
Yeah. All right. I just needed to say it. Fucking Marvel has me doing that with every movie, every movie. anywhere. Just like, every movie. Oh, but what if, man? <laughs> and we just be sitting there until the lights come off. I ain't Fuck. trying to bring it back to it, but Holes does have a post credit scene. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> A lot of people do not know that Holes has a post credit scene. Y'all did it first. We did. Wow. On the low, if you go back, I put it on TikTok and people were like, what the fuck? What do you mean you guys have a post credit scene? So we've had it. So I was very excited to see it, man. I'm excited for what they got planned next, though. I don't know if we'll see Wesley Snipes back as Blade. I met Wesley Snipes for the first time in my life, which is like a dream come true. I was like, holy shit. I heard they might be bringing um, um, Hugh Jackman back as, as X-Men again. He I tweeted something, but it was like, it was real loose. In my opinion. He cheated the shing. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. You know who would be lit as as Wolverine though? Basically the exact same person but younger. <laughs> Butcher? Um, yeah, yeah, Butcher. <laughs> Billy Butcher <laughs> from um uh, Oh man. What's that shit called? What's that the, shit boys. Called? the boys. The boys. Yeah. He's, right. he's Wolverine basically. Pretty much. Yeah. He's had so many roles through the years, and that's just like that's a testament to like just being in this business as an actor and just continuing to go. When you get your break, you'll get your break. Yeah. But like we know him now as that's Billy the Book. Right. Yeah, for sure. But like he's in Star Trek. He's in Thor. He's in mm. all of the Yes. In the Thor Ragnarok. He's the oh, bald head guy with the sure gun. Was. That's him. Shit. Crazy. In Star Trek, he's the guy that's always in the new Star Trek films. He's the the doc. He's always in Chris Pine's ear. Like, right. you can't do this. You can't go out there right now. Yeah, I never was. I, I love life. seeing actors who have been around doing little shit. Um, finally get something that pops off because then I'll be like, damn, he old and he just started popping off. So <laughs> I got time. It's a testament. He's like, it's it's okay. going. It's, okay. it's going, uh -huh. bro. Oscar Isaac's another one. Like seeing him like take over the, well, not the face of the franchise for Star Wars, but he was one of them. Yeah. I'm watching an old movie with Leonardo DiCaprio and Russell Crowe. Mm -hmm. He's in it for like three scenes. I'm like, bro, you've been at it since this. Mm -hmm. And this is a great role, but you didn't hit right now until Star Wars. Mm -hmm. He's got... Um, Oh, no, no. No, he has Star Wars and then he has uh, uh, Moon Knight. They signed him up to do Moon Knight. I, I was going to ask you, how do you feel as an actor in this industry? Are you still wanting to go out there and are you looking for some huge role or is every role a big role to you? I love, I love being on set. Like, I love telling a story, right? I love, that's all I've ever known, right? But as time has gone on, I had to figure out how to adapt to survive in a sense because... In my, in my era, being younger, there wasn't YouTubers, there wasn't vloggers, there was none of this, there was no social media. And for a very long time, Hollywood didn't want their stars even touching social media because they knew that power is gonna go directly th to there mm. instead of coming to the studios or the networks to be able to then facilitate to make you the star, right? Yeah. right? So where I am now, as far as things I've adapted to with the twitching, the social medias, the, the brand, the clothing brand, like all that, like that's my power, great. But as far as being an actor, you dream still of those certain those roles mm -hmm. to change the dynamic of how you're perceived, right? I do think that there's a perception of me as like the young actor who did nothing else. And I'm just like, it's so far from the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you got Walk and Talk with The Rock, then you got Roll Bounce, then you have as an adult actor to have Shameless, to have Major Crimes, to have right. Being Mary Jane, like those are adult roles, mm -hmm. right? So me now, it's like, I look at like these roles that come in and I never did this before. I auditioned for everything, I didn't care. Like I just wanted to be in the rooms, I wanted to hone my craft. But I do see there's certain roles I'm just like now because they don't know what they want. And a lot of people don't know that. Like being honest, y'all don't know how much, how many variables there are mm -hmm. to just book one. Yeah. One. It's it's there's a million people going for it, like legitly. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you can go in there and give your best read. You feel it. But the offer went out two hours ago to the actor. But you don't know mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. You have no idea of that. So like that's like even that, like us to be actors, we're crazy mm -hmm. because we get up every day and still want it. Yeah. We still want to pursue it. So I, I, for the first time in my life about two years ago, was able to say, okay, I'm at a place now where I can start saying, I don't want to audition for this role because I can look at the playing field on and I'm on. I'm just like, yeah. you're not giving me this role. But I'll keep it 1000 with y'all, man. Like when I look at a character breakdown and it says, when I was younger, when it would say African-American, I could pass. Mm -hmm. I could pass as that. Mm -hmm. When they say African-American, a black male now, they do not mean me. Mm. They do not. And I respect that and understand it. That's how the, 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 the industry has changed. Mm. I'm cool with that. Mm. So let me start going. Let me have the roles or let me go for the roles that I know I can actually have a chance at. Right. Yeah. But we're not doing it. Like that's not, they're not going to give me this role. Yeah. It's fine. I can accept it. But yeah. yeah. I'd be so annoyed when uh, we got to do the, um, 
you know, when you got a slate to camera and and the email says, make sure you say hi. I'm like, man. <laughs> He's like, that's like, not me. And Jonathan Ryan to Los Angeles. Five, four and a half. <laughs> <laughs> and I just know oh. they like, they're like, they maybe was like, ah, nah, man. We was looking oh. for five eight oh. because yeah. everyone else is five eight. Oh. Damn. What you gotta do is say five ten on the Apple box and leave it <laughs> <laughs> on the low, on the low. Uh-huh. And you know the thing about it is, and 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 what I also, what people probably don't realize is, it's it's not only about. Me being short for shit like that, it's um about everyone else. Because, yeah. you know, they also want to make sure everyone else is kind of, you don't have to constantly Apple box it if that's the mm-hmm. situation. I'm like, yeah. fuck, man. All right, shit. <laughs> five, five. <laughs> Bruh, but we look at like the 40-year-old version, right? And you look at Kevin Hart talking to the other actor in that store. Yeah. We know Kevin's not that tall. Right. It looked like they had to shoot down yeah. to even have it evened out. And then I remember the first time I met Tom Cruise and I was like 16. <laughs> I was like... No way. This is Mission Impossible? <laughs> get the fuck out of here. He's so yeah, petite. Yeah. Let me get to that point where they got to make sure and cast everybody smaller for to me. you. <laughs> Facts. Facts, brother. Facts. Well, shit, man. Um, I appreciate you pulling up. Thank you, man. This is an honor to finally be on the No it's Chaser right. Yeah, man. It's always podcast, fun, bro. bro. Um, yeah. Hey, well, make sure y'all, well, where should we? Where can we follow you and find you? Across all socials, at Cleo Thomas, man. Uh, make sure you guys tune in for the Twitch. So much stuff is happening over there. Um, a lot of great things coming to the gram as well. Partnering with Facebook for something. So I'm really excited about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, brother. Get cool. Money. Yeah. Get that money. All right, y'all. Well, thank you for li- watching, listening another episode of No Chaser Podcast. I'm Tim Chantaranxu. I'm Ricky Shucks. I'm Nikki Blade. Bye. Peace.